Hey guys, I'm going to be trying something a little bit different this time. I'm going to create a screencast of me creating a fictional machine from uh, Daniel Suarez's novel Demon or Demon. And the machine that I'm going to be tackling is the Razorback. So, a brief intro about this machine. It's essentially a standard motorcycle. I believe the quote, the quoted engine displacement was 1800 cc's, so probably a big bike. And the machine was essentially retrofitted by guys working at machine shops. And these machine shops would modify the bikes to essentially become killing machines for the daemon. They had hydraulic kickstands. Um, flywheels, actuated steering, lasers as blinding devices. They used LADAR to steer themselves, similar to the, uh, uh, to the DARPA challenge vehicles. And in general, they were just really, really mean machines with only one purpose, assassination. So, these machines really fascinated me throughout the book for a couple of reasons. One of the reasons was that they were essentially built from standard motorcycles. Another reason was because it's such a crazy concept that the autonomous vehicles we're creating right now could be used against us in the future. And it's just a really killer book. And of, of all of the things in the book, the Razorbacks stuck with me the most. So one of the reasons this is going to be challenging for me is that I've never, well, maybe never is too strong of a word, but it's not often you get to create something when there is no reference material available. Now I've scoured the internet and I didn't find anything. It doesn't mean it's not out there. It just means I couldn't find it. And it doesn't seem like anyone else has tackled this challenge of creating a Razorback there's a lot of description of what it should look like because of the book but I'm not sure there's really a photo or a sketch of it maybe Mr. Suarez has a sketch of one himself uh, I, I know I've heard rumors about movie rights for the book being uh, being sold and, and, and purchased and such but here's what I think one could look like you know they're described as having these hydraulic kickstands that that help them stand up obviously that'd be one on either side um there would be no handlebars it would all be a blunt nose full of instrumentation so that they can see uh they have gps antennas all over them some sort of a redundant system they have about i think 10 or 12 antennae all over them they've got these blades which are <laughs> i guess they're literally like katana blades um, sort of in storage on their back. Um, when one of the main blades that they're wielding is damaged, they can sort of pop it off like a disposable razor and then load another blade in its place to keep hacking at the door or whatever it is they're trying to break through. Although it wasn't described in the book, I thought that maybe they should have some sort of a battering ram component because there have been a few cases where they they just ride straight through something and as a biker myself I know that the front suspension of a bike probably wouldn't be able to take too much of that before it fails so we can we can engineer or design sort of a bar that fits around the front wheel um, the machines are hybrids they have a gasoline engine that charges an electric bank of batteries and a flywheel that harnesses the kinetic energy required so this means that when they're hunting someone or something else they can actually shut their engines down and then go into fully electric mode with these flywheels spinning away in a case continuously generating more power um, running off of a reserve of batteries. So I chose the Buell Firebolt for this bike as a base platform for a few reasons. Let's see. The main reason is the fuel tank can be removed. We we can just get rid of the fuel tank because the Buell's fuel tank is actually in the frame. 
which is okay because the entire bike is going to be armored. Another reason is that I believe the firebolt is air cooled so the engine is a lot simpler there's less going on it should be easier to modify um, it's belt driven so it doesn't have a chain like a lot of other motorcycles do it actually has a drive belt like a Harley Davidson they're, they're, the, the Buell is essentially a Harley Davidson sport bike it's that's that's what it was envisioned as and in general, I think the structure of the bike lends itself to being modified quite easily. For instance, you can just remove the entire instrument cluster and front fairing and it would be okay. You're not compromising the structure of the bike at all. So I think this first video is just going to be an introduction. We're just going to talk about some of the aspects of the bike, some of the things the bike is purported to have. The, 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 the machine, it's not really a bike anymore. And as I do the other videos, I'm not sure how much speaking there will be. I'm, I'm, I may try to annotate as a modeling, but I've never done that before. I've only ever done tutorials. I've never actually tried to create an entire model while speaking. So it, it, it might be, uh, it might be like trying to, uh, rub my rub my tummy and pat my head we'll see we'll see how well it works and yeah so this is it uh, I have an excerpt here from the book I hope this is fair use <laughs> so I've, I've just been doing these sketches on my iPad there's a scene where the machines are essentially cleaning up after some some gun no they're not so the machines come to assassinate someone and uh, they open fire on the machines and it's described as seeing the machines blinding laser weapons through gun smoke. And I thought that this is what it might look like. A laser array actually firing out bursts of green laser light because we know we know green lasers are harmful to our eyes. And then these vertical red dots here are, are mostly just for style. There's going to be a lot of artistic liberty in this project. They're mostly just for style, but uh, that's probably where the LADAR array is going to be. It actually lets this machine map its environment and maneuver everywhere. And then these are the dual blades that it wields. Uh, essentially, the blades are mounted on gimbals or what I imagine would be articulating robotic arms, almost like an assembly line robot's arms. And those would swing around and essentially the motorcycles ride past people and behead them or ride past um, another vehicle and disable its, 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 its movement by puncturing the tires or something like that. So this is what I think it could look like on more of an artistic level. Um, the interesting thing is that a lot of these machines, they weren't created by engineering firms or governments. In the novel, they were actually created by one man. And uh, this one man was actually a video game programmer. He was a computer programmer who sort of um, got a terminal illness, went mad, and created this dystopian, this, this dystopic future that he actually made come true once he passed away through his use of the daemon. Uh, the daemon being a, a, a sort of a, a headless computer program, a computer program that simply waits until events trigger other actions and other executions. So uh, uh, th th these machines were not engineered, they were designed almost, they were artistic idols. So one of the things that these uh, Razorbacks were described as is being covered in runes, almost like what you would find, uh, sure, almost like what you would find in a World of Warcraft game, where uh, the, the machine is almost embellished. It's 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 not simply a motorcycle anymore. It's now an art piece. It's a superstitious object. It's something of legend. There's lore about these black motorcycles that roam the streets at night, making sure that everything goes to the demon's plan. So this is uh, this is some sample artwork I got here. Um, you know, credit where it's due. Is Biddy and Dawn, and uh, yeah. So this this um, this is this is the beginning, 
I've wanted to do this for a very long time, hence the sketches and, and all the backstory. I've read both of the uh, books in the Damon series, and I, I think I'm prepared to, to create this model. Uh, I've also bookmarked all relevant pages where they describe the motorcycles. And um, I'll leave the first video here, but in the second video, we're actually going to start chopping parts off of this motorcycle, because obviously if this thing is becoming an autonomous motorcycle, it won't need handlebars, it won't need a seat, it won't need uh, um, shift levers and, and, and pillion, pillion foot pegs, you know, it won't need turn signals and tail lights and headlights. This thing will become a robot, whereas right now it's a motorcycle. So in the next video, I'm going to cover the actual chopping off of all of the parts of the machine.